Hi, Cancer is with a weekly reading for the sign of Cancer, and it could resonate with anyone who has Cancer strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, let's get going, Cancer. Welcome to the table. It's wonderful to have you here. Let's see what's here for Cancer. All right, Cancer, connecting in here. All right, Cancer, what I have is the world, the Queen of Swords, next to the Queen of Wands, next to the Nine of Pentacles. Second row is the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. And the bottom row is the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Now, the bottom row is the energy that you're embodying um, over the next week. We have the first half here and the second half here. It's sort of how I create these or read from them. Um, you know, of course, this reading could be longer than a week. It could be, you know, I mean, we're trying to get it to fit into this time frame, but we are, you know, you are, you're aware, you, you know, that time is fluid and we're all, all of that stuff. Okay. Now, when I was shuffling, I felt a very quiet softness about this week. That said, like it was really confusing for me because, and I didn't say it out loud because I, well, these are some energies here that can be quite strong, but I'm still feeling that softness and feeling a gentleness and a softness of spirit. There's a situation, Cancer, that has been so difficult. It's been very hard. And I think, although there's some new experiences here for you and, 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 uh, a, a joyful heart and a willingness that I see here. Uh, there is a situation and a feeling that you have that has been difficult to kind of move through. And I, I do feel like it's like a leftover. It's like leftover. There's something that hasn't quite ended yet. It's still causing some pain. It's still sort of there. It's still creeping in into your experience from time to time. And I think you're in the process of really figuring out, like, why is this happening? I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a new path here. There's something new here, something that I haven't really had the chance to do before. And I'm feeling pretty happy about it. In fact, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. But oddly enough, and ironically enough, I'm just tired. I am wiped out. Why is this? happening at a time when I'm so exhausted. It's kind of a, like a mildly cruel irony. So you're embodying this Ten of Wands and, and it's connecting into the Queen of Swords. So I feel, Cancer, that you are ready and you are able to disconnect from from these hardships. And in fact, I think you're. it looks like you're positioning yourself to do just that. It feels like it has been hard. It has been tough. And as the week moves through, I really do see that you're uh, uh, confronting this with a little bit more competitiveness or a little bit more aggressiveness than you have in the past. Or you're thinking about it, a strategy to remove yourself from it a little bit more aggressively than you've had it done in the past. But there's a conflict of energies here. The good news is, Cancer, you're able to talk about it. You're expressing yourself at this point. And some of the problems with the Ten of Wands is it can get so hard. It can get so debilitating to be in the Ten of Wands where there's just other people who are in control. And no matter what you do and no matter how hard you work and, and no matter how willing you are to, uh, to take on the load that's been handed to you, uh, it really hasn't given you back anything and it just is very quite depleting and i feel like when we're in the ten of wands sometimes we're so exhausted we're so upset that it's really hard to communicate effectively um because like our throat chakra shuts down but i think this throat chakra is alive and well and you're reached a place of your own regeneration that you're able to really confront this situation now because there are some really good things happening here cancer this is a rebuilding uh, rebuilding kind of space that you're in 
And so, yes, there is uh, ex- expansion here and excitement here and a, and a new beginning of sorts. But with any new beginning comes the requirement of, for many of us, to close off what it is that you're moving away from, to close it out, to close it off, to stop it from happening. And so I think now that this has happened and you're feeling better and you're understanding what really brings true happiness and peace for you and and really is something that you do enjoy doing and you enjoy experiencing and it's healthy and it and it feeds you and it brings vitality into you now it's time to start to repair i just keep hearing and it's not letting it go repair the damage that's been done to you and oftentimes with the ten of wands it's something that we at, at one time willingly stepped into for one reason or another. And as we step down that path, it becomes harder and harder and trickier and trickier and more overwhelming as time goes on. And so then you kind of have to backtrack out of that path and, um, and, and I'm hearing the word rid yourself of that issue. So it doesn't always have to be the people. It could just be a problem that has been around you that's been really difficult. Um, As the week goes through, I think that there are some days here that are just uh, days of menial tasks. There could be a few days here where you're really trying, you're really focusing on decisions that are important but they're momentary decisions or short-term decisions here there's some short-term decisions that you're making what am i going to do about this in the next week what am i going to do about this in the next what am i going to do about tomorrow what am i going to do about tomorrow what am i going to do about the next week what am i going to do about this this coming you know event next month it's it's that's the problem here with this Ten of Wands. It's like it's quite active around you. It's quite active. And when we don't have the time and we would don't take the time, this is also about priorities, figuring out, figuring out what the priorities are this week. Because there's something that needs to be stopped, but I'm not quite sure if it's really the time to stop it. You, it might not be available. Excuse me. It might not be available to be stopped at this time. But there's something that happens here. And there could be a queen of swords that is around you that is causing this as well. And if that's the case, with if the queen of swords is another person around you, but this is queen of swords is connected to this happiness. There could be two people here, two friends. There could be three friends here. But at least one friend or acquaintance or, or lover, there's there's a there's a, at least another person here. I really feel cancer that you're just you're feeling the pain of this now. Like as situation gets better and as you're starting to see something's really working for you, the better it the better it gets and the more comfortable you're feeling, the worse this other situation feels. I think you're re- you're realizing that. I don't see there's not a whole lot of talking here, but I do think that there is an ability to communicate now um, about this because perhaps you haven't really been able to do that before. Certainly contemplation. Um, and I think over the next week, and especially for a few days, you are going to focus on these short, short-term decisions that are here in front of you. Uh, some short-term decisions about what to do. And I think it involves both of these, both of you here. It involves both of you. It feels like this queen of wands is here, whether it's you or another person. It feels like the queen of wands that's here is in many ways like offering something or is planning to offer something or is, um, is, bringing something forward that's quite exciting. I think it probably connects into this Nine of Cups, into the world energy. But there's still something kind of dragging you down here, something that's pulling you down. 
you have this happiness, but there's something just like a weight or an anchor that's just like pulling you down. Whenever you want to rise up, whenever you get into this happy feeling, there's something that kind of swarms into your thoughts and, and infiltrates your thoughts and kind of pulls you back down again. And I think that you're aware. I, I don't think it's something that's a surprise. It's just something that you're dealing with. Um, but you're focusing on the short term here, some short term decisions. Um, there could be some uh, project that you're working on with a friend or a coworker or, you know, or somebody in your family. And you're just taking care of something for the very short term. You could be talking to this person saying, you know what, um, I have this situation here that I might need some help with. How are we going to get through the next couple of days? Because th there's something here that's that's that I'm not able to to accomplish anymore. I'm not able to do anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. Or it needs to be fixed because it's not it's failing or it's it's just not working anymore. It's really interesting that this is the concern. I think what's happening, Cancer, around you is, is really beautiful. But if this can't be stopped, if this isn't resolved, then it's going to continue to affect the health and the growth of this vitality that's really building around you. I think you're realizing like it's so very important to resolve this. But how? It's not like it's something that you can do right away. And again, it's a weekly reading. Um, so... I think you're realizing it, you're feeling the pain of it, and you're in the process of, of trying to figure out, okay, um, this is something that's going to need to be resolved. And you could very well be connecting, and it is connecting in with this Queen of Wands. And I think this Queen of Wands is fully realizing what's going on. I think she's here as a friend. I, it feels to me, Cancer, that you're in the Queen of Swords, but, but these rules are like interpret it as you wish and how it fits in with you, you might very well be the Queen of Wands. It's interesting though, Cancer, because I think you do catch on to this energy and it does have quite a spontaneous feeling. So by the end of the week, it, it looks like, or the last couple of days of the week, it looks like um, you're kind of in a way like letting this be, letting this be in existence. It is an existence, but it doesn't mean that it has to come in and ruin everything else. It almost feels like you've kind of understood this and comes to, and have come to terms with it. it. It may not be solved right away, but that doesn't mean it that it has to control your your other experiences. And I think you're in many ways, you're overcoming the pull and the influence that the Ten of Wands has. And you're moving into this uh, spontaneous type um, excitement. So whatever this Queen of Wands is bringing towards you or whatever you're bringing towards the Queen of Swords is something that's really exciting. And I think it, it could very well be the solution. These weekly readings don't have to be so big or so deep. Sometimes I do that. Um, just because it's really dramatic when I get into this energy. But I, you know, this Queen of Wands could very well be affecting and bringing in a solution or bringing in some sort of short term fix for whatever this is. I do feel like the Queen of Wands is offering something. I've never felt that way about this Queen of Wands, and I've used this deck quite a bit. So this is, I, I feel like the Queen of Wands has something, something that she's offering. That is a solution or an excitement or something that is a huge distraction, which, which would be okay. But I think the Queen of Wands is coming forward in a helpful way. And she could have a short term solution because the Two of Pentacles connects in with her. She could have a short term selection, uh, a, a short term solution. Nevertheless, it's something that's quite exciting for you. And I think that you do join the optimism and the anticipation of 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 adventure down the road and, and it is a very fun um it, uh elevation is what came from <laughs> a, a fun elevation to be in especially after kind of getting sucked into this um the desperation of the ten of wands you've now moved into something that's exciting and i think that you're realizing it's important to kind of distract yourself from this to separate yourself from this to associate your energy with something else. 
uh, because this really needs to start being released. And the best way to release something is to let go of it, even if it's a momentary period of time to let go of it. And your spiritual team kind of grabs onto it and starts working with it when you do that. I think that's probably, you might have a good friend here to say, yeah, I know that you've been troubled by this, um, but something else is really going on. Let's go out and celebrate. Let's go celebrate and, and forget about this for a while. Is there anything you can do about this right now? You know, is there anything you can do about this right now? Because for many of you, I think that this is maybe a little bit on hold. And here comes the Queen of Wands saying, look, let's go out on the town. Let's go have some fun. Let's get you distracted from this. Uh, and I think that there is something fun that comes in here um, for you, Cancer, that, that really just allows you to experience something uh, in a fiery way, in a passionate way, in a, in a way of just kind of losing yourself in the situation. And it helps you disassociate with this. I don't think this is, this Ten of Wands is usually not your problem. Like you have taken this on as your problem and you've taken this on in your life, but ultimately it's, it's for the betterment of someone else. I mean, you're carrying all this stuff. Somebody else is, is, it's, <laughs> a pulley system, like whoever is on top is enjoying, but there's always got to be someone on the bottom to pick up the pieces or to do the work. And I feel like somebody is benefiting or there could be people that are benefiting from your hard work um, and, and are just enjoying themselves and, and don't really have any, um, maybe they might not even have a clue about how you feel, but I think they more likely don't have an, an urge whatsoever to make any changes. So these changes usually have to be forced or um, pushed forward by the person who's, who, who's in, who, who's suffering. So I think that whatever this Queen of Wands is, is connecting to you with, I think it's something, number one, number one, that's affordable. And number two, it helps to rebuild that passion center within you. And as you're moving out of the week of the 15th, uh, I think that you are coming up with some sort of decision or strategy. It's almost like this nice uh, experience that's here that helps you just let go of yourself and, and live and enjoy. In many ways, it frees up, maybe it frees up the subconscious mind to come together, all the lobes together, <laughs> all the lobes together. Let's make a decision. Let's find clarity. It's like the power of the mind. And I, it, there's some sort of strategy that, that springs forward or, or a major decision or just a realization of the truth. And that's sometimes what the fire can do for us. It can help to embolden our spirit. And that kind of clears the mind and, and it clears the energy centers and the nervous system and the meridians. And it just helps bring in new information. Your guides and your angels or, or the team that you're connecting to can connect in in a, just a crystal clear way and push in these ideas and strategies to really help you formulate um, some sort of helpful um, some sort of helpful solution or idea here. That's so interesting how it comes after this. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. That's a twist. King of Cups. Oh gosh. What the heck? Where did that come from? Cancer, are you like keeping secrets? Are you keeping secrets? Because nowhere in this reading, <laughs> nowhere in this reading do we have love. Maybe it's here in the Nine of Cups. Maybe there's a new beginning here. Maybe there's an old relationship that needs to be cleaned away. Or an old life that's being, you know, closed off. But we have a King of Cups here with the Knight of Cups, which is can Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in love. 
So this could be, and this is a masculine cancer, totally a compliment of you, the feminine cancer. I know my audience is mostly feminine. So there could be a masculine here that is in love or connecting to someone in love. Oh my gosh. It's a curveball. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, are you needing to be single? Are you... Are you realizing that it's time now to kind of separate yourself and prepare yourself for some sort of relationship that's on the horizon or that you've already stepped into in one way or another? But why is the Nine of Pentacles connected to this? It has to have something to do with being able to, to be single or to be independent or or to be able to make the necessary decisions just by yourself. I mean, this could be the golden ticket, this Nine of Pentacles. And the King of Cups could be the golden ticket. How does the King of Cups feel about cancer? Oh my gosh. How does the King of Cups feel about cancer? How does the King of Cups feel about cancer? Seven of Pentacles. Devil energy almost came out on its side. There's some intensity there, but I think it's being managed. The King of Cups is working on this. He's fostering it. If it's a relationship or some sort of wish coming true that's connected in to this independence and this independent life that you have. And then we have the Nine of Swords. There's worry here and concern. Overthinking, overanalyzing, making a lot out of this, like a lot of thinking, a lot of inner drama over this. Magician. Hmm. See, this is, it doesn't seem like it's fully formulated, like it's still building. It could be that the King of Cups is not even acting to his fullest potential. Like it could be that in a way, like it's too early or he's not quite ready. You could be really anxious about how you're feeling, what you're thinking, how you're doing. Then we have the magician. I've got to do this. I've got to, I've got to create, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, how am I going? And so I think that there's some thoughts here and emotions swirling around with the King of Cups, but the King of Cups sometimes takes a long time. Sometimes the King of Cups takes a long time. He can be quite shy. He can be intimidated by people who are strong, who are confident. Um, he's coming forward in this energy of love. Oh my gosh, this is just a twist. <laughs> I just was so surprised. Oh my gosh. Let me ask something about this Knight of Cups. <sighs> what does the King of Cups intend to do with the Knight of Cups? What does he intend to do? I mean, I know this is, this is an energy of love and forward movement, but... What is it intending to do? I know it's kind of an odd question, but I just, I'm curious. Four of Pentacles, hang on. He wants to hang on. He wants to protect it. He also wants to survive. He wants to make it through. He wants to do it in a way that it's going to be there after he's done. Five of Swords. I mean, there could have been arguments. There could be a different belief system. There could be a lot of confusion and aggravation around this. And we're going to get deeper and deeper in this. We'll get into the shadow because basically that's what it is. Seven of Pentacles. There's more work to do. He might not have all the money he needs yet. There might be something that still has to happen. 
he could be getting his mind all wrapped up in this. Lots of different options, lots of things to do. It's okay to wait. It could feel so big and so intimidating that he's okay just thinking about it. Oh my gosh. There's so many things happening. Uh, this is a really active week for cancer, I have to say. And I feel like th there's so many things happening here. There's so many things that Spirit has pushed into this reading. I think this reading could be for a whole bunch of people in very different ways. But there's definitely love on the table. There's fun. There's a wish coming true. There's a new beginning here. But there is an ending. Some of you could be starting new relationships and ending old ones. Some of you could be receiving an important message as well. Like you could have been uh, very stressful. Uh, you could have been stressful. <laughs> well, maybe you were. But you could have been very stressed, um, pressuring yourself about something, not really knowing how you're going to get out of something, and going out on the town having fun, and boom, here comes the answer. Here comes a message. Here comes something um, that really kind of pushes you into um, this, into singlehood. Into, singlehood, is that a word? Into singledom. I don't know if that's a word either. Well, what the heck? I don't even know what to do with that. I want to keep reading, but it's like, that's a, that's it for the week. Um, I do feel like this excitability con continues forward. We'll have to see in the extended, but I do feel like this is something that kind of continues through. Let's look at the Ace of Swords before I let go. Ace of Swords. Page of pen. Some sort of message comes through. Something happens. Some sort of message that's very um, trustworthy or it's, it's not the page of cups. It's a page of pentacles. So whatever comes in and then it's connected to the nine of pentacles. It, it's something that whatever this is, is something that helps to establish like stability around making this change. Maybe a small gift is given or a strong message of support is given. There's something here that helps you to kind of step forward into this new experience. Even while this like old situation is still like very much there. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead now and take a break and then move into the extended um, I'm going to dig into some more of these cards. There's there's a lot under the surface. I'm going to dig into some more of these cards and then move the story forward. All right, my friends. Um, it was a pleasure and a real surprise, Cancer, to kind of pull out those cards at the very end. It threw me for a loop, but um, that's exciting. And I look forward to, um, to the extended reading to see how this continues forward. My friends, thank you for being here. It's an honor to read for you. Um, stay well, stay strong. And I, I look forward to looking into Cancer Energy next week. Thank you.